Uh, this is our mobile studio. Uh, what started as a dream. We we're trying to do something good and it just, it just gone. Was destroyed in one night. But it was, was like terrifying. Last month, flames from a dumpster fire next door. And it just went up and then it caught the trees. Consumed Jen Woodward's mobile paper making studio, Pulp and Deckle. Have you ever had It happened just days then? after our own Tracy Berry met Jen and her art. This is our like future and what we're working towards. The couple raised $11,000 on Kickstarter to convert the old espresso truck. Investigators rule the fire arson. It's incredibly frustrating um, to have put all this work into something and to get so much support and enthusiasm and like it's just gone. Insurance won't cover the damage. We did not have fire coverage. And neither will restitution. The person that started was homeless. Police arrested Frank Donald Fisher for first degree arson. The couple isn't sure what they'll do after the generosity that got them started. It's very hard for us to ask for help just because we want to help other people and having something like this where we absolutely have to ask for help is just, just hard all around. They'll start with another dream, one for the future. But we're still here and still doing it. And hope the future returns peace to where they live. Because we don't feel safe right now. Jen and Gary did start a GoFundMe account tonight, but they say they are well aware there are others in this world with greater needs than theirs right now. They're thinking of hurricane victims, so they say anyone who wants to open their pockets and hearts to them, they're extremely grateful. We'll post that link on KGW.com. Joe, back to you. We wish them the best, Catherine. Thank you very much.